Tom the Gosser one. This is the Big Man 0706 saying welcome back to Watch Play Mega Man X. Not seven. And now we're going to take on Boomer Kowanger. The weird thing is, I don't know what type of animal he is. I don't think he's a stag beetle or a centipede. Those are in later games, the centipede and the uh, beetle mavericks. Anyway, here's one thing about the stage. It's kind of annoying if you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Basically, the whole stage is inside a giant tower. Or filled with mace ball joes and... Shit, I did not mean to fall. Come on, flail me, fucker. Don't... Good, that's good. That's good to hear. Let's save here. Anyway, here's... No, here are those can bunch of cannon enemies. Basically, they'll stay on you until you decide to jump. Until, they deci until you decide to shoot. Let's try if I can avoid running into that guy and yes I can because I don't want to fight another one of those flail joes here's another annoying enemy. wait for it these helicopter enemies are basically kind of like those weird enemies in the intro stage and here are these enemies they don't hurt you can't kill them but they don't hurt you unless you step on line but if you step on line they shoot a laser of death they shoot a laser at you which hurts like a motherfucker which doesn't hurt at all but avoid it at all costs, and I can't believe I did not get hit by that. Anyway, we have to deal with another one of these turtle enemies again. Consistency? What's that? Yes, I said it sarcastically. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh yeah, I can go through, I'm stupid. I was going to switch out to the tornado, storm tornado, because it can easily go after them. I hate those bombs. They have a large explosion radius. So I'm going to actually switch to the Storm Tornado because I want to get rid of this turtle very fucking easily. Not, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that turtle easily. And that took care of it. And here's another annoying segment. Let me just switch to the... Wait a minute. Why in the menu it says homing, but in that one video, that one part it said horming. I mean, game? But one thing. There's spikes on the bottom of the... Oh, f go suck a dick, you enemy. Go suck it. Go suck a rotten dick. Shit! Ah! You douche! You're a bigger douche than Mitt Romney. Okay, that joke's getting old. I vow that the next boss, I am not going to talk about douchebags. Looks like Mitt Romney. Starting now. Anyway, now we are on the outside of the tower. Where these platforms extend out, but the problem is they're, they're little surprise fuck you cans. The little surprise cans over there that pop out of them. But once you kill them, they pop out again, the can's not going to be there. Basic logic, ladies and gentlemen. Basic logic. First things first, let's try to get rid of those wizards. And one thing, it looks like you can stand on that platform, but that's actually part of the background. For, that's really stupid. And there's an elevator right there, so there's a hole right there, but there's nothing coming out of it. Maybe do I need to be away from it? No, I don't need to be away from it. That's actually a fake out for that real one to come out. I'll shoot that out before I uh, before I run into it like a fucking idiot. Or it shoots me, whichever comes first. There's another fake out hole. And a third fake out hole. There's nothing here. Now, I'm going to try something. You know, I'm actually going to wait until I get Boomer Kawanger's weapon. You can't get it with Boomer Kawanger's weapon like other items. It's kind of like the magic card in Mega Man base. It's kind of like the magic card in Mega Man base, except it goes in a weird arc formation. I was actually going to try to use it to get, wait until I finish that stage before, for uh, Spark Mandrel stage, because that fucking hard thing, that fucking hard tank gave me a shitload of trouble. 
Let me just grab that energy capsule. Because Boomer Coiners at the very top of this tower. The weird thing is, I think this tower makes a reappearance in that in that god awful Mega Man Legends game. I fucking hate that game series. Why did Capcom make such a shitty series? And I'm gonna be expecting a lot of hate mail because I'm bashing the X, not X, the Legends series because it fucking sucks balls. And I'm actually proud. I'm gonna repeat. I'm actually proud that Led. Wait, do I have a fuel tank? No, I don't have a fuel tank. I actually am glad that they canceled the development of Legends for you because Infinium was being a great douchebag anyway. Here's Boomer Kowanger. There's one annoying ass thing he does. You, he either dashes at you and he throws these horns at you. He's really fucking annoying due to the fact that, well, he disappears randomly. And he's actually giving me less trouble. Whenever you hear that bump, bump, like a weird digital trump, trombone or some shit like that, that means he's gonna teleport. And you gave me less trouble to launch octopus. What the fuck? And thus we are finished with Boomer Kowanger's stage. I don't think a Kowanger is an actual type of insect, but, but but I might search Wikipedia to see if a Kowanger is an insect. If it is an insect, I'm gonna be well, I'm gonna post it up there. And we got the boomerang cutter, which. It's basically, it's almost like Cutman's rolling cutter. And now we are off to the final maverick of the game, Sting Chameleon. To be honest, I like the way he looks in X than in Maverick Hunter X, because in X he looks like an actual chameleon, but in Maverick Hunter X he looks like a dinosaur of some sort. It's like... And the worst part, they kept that design choice in Mega Man Online, Rockman Online. And I forgot there was a worm. I forgot there was a grass tool. Anyway, the majority of the enemies here are grass tools that summon worms. The loggers from uh, from Chill Penguin stage and the frog and the weird skitters from the Mega from Launch Octopus stage. But one thing, this stage is flooded because we killed Stink, not Stink, we killed Launch Octopus, no, yeah, we killed Launch Octopus. Anyway, this area, if it's flooded, you can bash these locks and let's save and... <sighs> Made it! I need a dash jump. I think you need to have this place flooded. Three, two, one. Jump. That's good. That's good enough so that I can actually make it out of here. Now we could go down there, but there's something else causing these blocks to fall. I wonder what could it be? Well, it's the mini boss of Steve Chameleon stage. It's optional if you go up the path. Basically, it's this weird giant claw robot. It basically almost has the same strategy as uh, Flame Mammoth, as in the jumping around causing his tremendous weight to cause the floor to go down. Except he uses a giant hook. And the one thing is, holy shit, am I getting stuck? Am I getting Am I getting him stuck in this pattern? No, I'm not anymore. Basically, he jumps around. He'll throw his hook at you. He'll throw his hook at you. And I think if the hook grabs you, he's going to throw you around like a rag doll. But I'm not going to let him touch me. Because this main boss is piss easy. Unlike the one in... Unlike the one in Spark Mandrill stage. Before you kill Storm Eagle. That motherfucker is a bitch. 
when you start smoking, tell him to quit. You don't get lung cancer. No, actually, it means she's dying. Keep that hook away from me. I've been grabbed enough in my playthroughs. I don't need you to grab me. If I want to be grabbed... Uh, oh, fuck! Ouch! He throws you into the wall, but he doesn't do a lot of damage. Hey, he's still smoking. Quit, man. You're going to get lung cancer. You're going to get some weird shit in your lungs. You're going to get some weird shit in your heart arteries. If you have arteries at all. Well, and I'm going off a really fucking weird tangent. So I'm going off a really weird tangent. I like how, uh, what's his name? Uh, Greg Clement said he's kind of like a descendant of Otto from Mega Man 7. Well, he has the same color. He's protecting... Thing an item created by Dr. Light here. Speaking of the item, here it is. It's another capsule. This capsule contains a new type of body armor. It will reduce damage to your systems by 50%. And we get the most bitching looking body armor of. of up to date. It doesn't give you any special abilities like let you use uh, certain attacks or something. Like the helmet with the dash boots or the power buster. Now it lets you scroll back. Basically, if I didn't kill that mini boss, I would have not only contend with these boulder joes, these boulder these boulder robots, but I would also have to contend with the blocks falling from the ceiling. So it's a good way to take them out and force if you were going to plan on replaying a level if you miss anything. I don't think I'm going to miss anything here. I already got the, the energy tank. Not the energy tank. The heart tank. And fuck you, rock guy. I think he's kind of like Stone Man and Guts Man. But one thing, these weird woodpecker enemies drop these... These weird woodpecker enemies drop worms. So they don't... The only way they'll attack you is it... Oh, I forgot. I remember something. I thought the bird was blocking me off for some fucked up reason. The game's telling me not to do it or otherwise I might get hurt. And let's kill this grass with I don't want to deal with him. He's going to be a pain in the balls. And finally! I want up! Up after so many fucking episodes. But I'm not gonna take a death here because, well. I'll tell you why. It's really stupid, that's why. It's another m walker thing. Except there's mud involved. This mud will stay even if you did beat, didn't, or did not beat uh, Launch Octopus and let's kill this fucker. Come here, motherfucker. Except the mix color is different, that doesn't mean it's going to have new abilities. Let me grab this for extra, for extra energy's sake. I hope that the record is not fu not recorded, the emulator is not fucking up. Up like last night. Anyway, we use the walker, we punch the shit out of uh, these hopping enemies, and punch the shit out of this maverick. We punch this bug. Jump out of here, safe state, and let's equip the rolling cutter. And I, my health bar is the same length as the uh, weapon bar for all the weapons. Now we have Steam Chameleon. He's a unique robot map. Not, not robot, a unique maverick. Don't you dare like me. Basically, he attacks by I, he attacks by I, by swinging around, causing all these spikes to, hit, to fall from the ceiling. I don't think. One, let me check something first. Nope, they're not instant death spikes. But if you don't get, if you don't hurt him after the swing, he's gonna disappear and try to lick you. You. I don't think the great Clement showed that off. Probably because he was busy beating Stink Chameleon's ass with the rolling cutter. 
I don't think if you throw Oh, you do get it back. And with that final boomerang throw, Sting Chameleon is dead. Yeah. Shit, I stole that joke from the very Clement. And we get the Chameleon Sting. Which is a three-way shot. It could it could be used against Storm. Not yeah, Storm Eagle. I was gonna say Storm Owl, which is very fucking strange because he's not in this game. No, cutscene time. Finally, we found Sigma's fortress. Well, now we have to rescue Mokuba and my white blue eyes white dragon card. Let's go in and put an end to this to his war against the humans. And send to get Domino City back. But that's another thing. And now we get to go after Sigma. Well, probably the mastermind behind all of this. So until next time, we're actually going to start with an item hunt. Then we'll do a video on going after Sigma. So until then, goodbye.